kind of a, a whirlwind of emotions, but uh, I think this move's going to be really good for me. Is it weird being back here so soon? Uh, yeah, it still hasn't really sunk in yet. I'm still taking it all in. Um, it's awesome seeing the guys and the staff on the other side. Um, should be a really exciting series. Um, I'm glad to be uh, playing for a team that's got uh, hopes and a shot of playing for a World Series. So, um, you know, it's still only a couple days in, but I feel like I've matched really well with the guys. The clubhouse is amazing. Uh, the staff is awesome. So uh, I look forward to this journey. Who have you been able to say hi to so far? That's for the, on the other side? Yeah. Um, there's a whole lot of guys still left over there that when I was around, but the DeGrom, Cookie, uh, Nito, um, I was really close to guys in their, their medical and performance staff, so I was able to, to see them. Um, but um, it's great witnessing to see their success from a, from a distance. Um, I still root for those guys and they're on the other side. Um, yeah, that's about it. Does it make it easier to walk into a clubhouse and see Zach, someone you're already familiar with? Uh, yeah, that was, that was awesome being reunited with, with Wheeler. Um, he's having a tremendous year. He's having a lot of success with the Phillies. Um, and he's just a happy guy, so I'm happy for him. How are you feeling at this point in the season? Uh, my health is great. Um, from my understanding, I think part of the reason why I still made the move to, to the Angels to the West Coast is just because that energy that can make New York so great and, and positive can also kind of bite you in the butt a little bit, and especially what I'm going through right now. Um, a little dip in velocity. I'm still trying to have to rely on location and mixing things up. Um, and I feel like if I was doing that playing here, everything would just be highlighted. That was kind of like a, a big fear of mine. So that's another reason why I went over to the West Coast so I could kind of get my bearings underneath me and get back to feeling like the old self. How would you say the energy compares in Philly <clears throat> to what you experienced in New York? Um, from the, the short bit that I've played there so far, I mean, both fans are super passionate. They expect greatness, and I just admire just the fan base from both sides of like just their grit and tenacity. And it's, uh, one of the, the many reasons why I fell in love with New York so much is just the, the, the mass amounts of culture and, and history in Philadelphia offers that the same amount of that. You mentioned that energy sometimes can be positive, sometimes it bites in the butt. What, what comes to mind when it instances of biting? Um, I mean, it's just like you you walk into the Angels Clubhouse and there's only like three reporters there, um, and most of them are Japanese, so they don't really <laughs> speak a lot of English. So, um, you know, everything's just heightened. It's Pretty, pretty cutthroat playing in, in New York. Um, I feel like I did a pretty good job at, for the last six years, even though it was hurt for the last two, at managing it and embracing it. Um, but it, it's just a lot when you're trying to get back from an injury. Well, oh. you see that the Mets are happy, you know, you're the best record of the season. Is there any part of that thinks important? I kind of asked if like, I have any regrets of leaving. <laughs> um, no, I don't have any regrets. Um, it's just brought me to where I am now. It's a crazy journey. Um, you know, I really enjoyed my time with the Angels, but uh, I'm really confident in the staff here to, to get me where I need to be.